Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. A while back, I did a video on how to make chili oil and the quality wasn't very good, so I thought I would do it again. So today, I am making chili oil one more time, so I decided to take you guys along and show you the process in clearer video. <laughs> so I have started to dry the peppers. Um, you don't have to use your oven. Um, I did because um, I actually heated the oven up a little bit uh, more so that it can dry more quickly. And because I did that, some of the peppers kind of like um, burnt up a little bit. But anyway, um, here I have peppers that are already dried. Uh, it's best if you use uh, a dehydrator because you get like the consistency of the, the crispiness and uh, nothing is going to get burnt. These are my peppers here. They're combinations of uh, sugar rush peach. Um, I have, I think, a few uh, ghost peppers in here maybe and a bunch of Thai peppers. But I'm actually going for the sweet, sweeter um, uh, oil. So that is why I'm using a lot of sugar rush. Okay, so here are my peppers all dried up. So we need to crush it. Now, when you crush these, uh, it's based on your preference. You can crush them with, a, you know, of course, using gloves into uh, flakes. And that should work. Uh, if you want finer uh, flakes or finer powder, I don't recommend doing powder, but uh, break it up using a blender, but don't blend it too much so that it be uh, too finely grounded. So you want uh, flakes kind of stuff. So that would be the best for the, uh, the, the chili oil. So um, I'm gonna show you how I grind mine up. So uh, you can use whatever you like. Okay, so as I mentioned, you can actually crush it like this, you see it? And uh, depending on how fine you want it, you just use something to smash it or crush it, whatever. But um, I'm going to use the, the neutral bullet. So you can just put the peppers in here like this. And it does seem like there's a lot, but once it's crushed down, you're not gonna get that much left. And uh, man, it smells amazing. Even with a little burn here, it still has a really nice sweet aroma and it's just amazing. Okay, we are ready to blend this up a little bit to turn it into flakes. And you can actually make pepper powder this way. If you don't want to make chili oil, then you turn this into powder and that would be it. So the process is the same. And here are some that I made already. These I'm, I made these for spaghetti and pizza. So you see they're kind of like little flakes and that is done the exact same way. I just put the peppers in here. I dried it first. I use a, a, um, a Nesco dry, dryer, the dehydrator, so it gets a, a consistent um, uh, dryness to the peppers. Okay, so now we're just going to put it on here. You see, just one push and you basically almost have... Um, uh, the right flakes ready. <laughs> okay, so let me finish this up and then I will show you. Okay, we have the peppers ground up. So next you will need um, one shallot. I don't have any shallot, but I have leftover onions here, the red one. I think they should be the same. And then use uh, two cloves of garlic. And then you can add a, a little salt just uh, to taste them. But uh, the ingredients would be one cup of crushed peppers and one cup of oil, uh, two cloves of garlic, one shallot, and then a little bit of salt. You just taste them and that's basically it. I will put all of the ingredients in the description so you can check it out. So now I'm going to uh, cut these into um, really small bits so that we can cook them and uh, give it a nice good flavor and smell to them. So let me go ahead and cut these up and I'll show you. Okay, I have the shallots and the uh, garlic cut up into pieces. And then we're going to add it to uh, the pan or the pot. And uh, we're gonna add a cup of oil to it. So let's go ahead and add that. And there's a lot more onions and garlic than I said on the 
ingredients but just use as much as you like I'm, I'm experimenting here so you can see uh, a different amount uh, but try to make um, the the ingredient and then and then adjust as you uh, as you like in your future batches okay so next we're going to add a cup of oil And then we're going to cook this until the onions or the shallot and the garlic becomes like a golden color and it's going to smell amazing. And then we're going to pour that into our peppers. So let's go ahead and cook it up. Okay, here is my oil, shallots, and the garlic. So we are going to cook this at about medium heat because we don't want the, uh, the onions to become crispy and uh, burnt so we just want that golden color so that it can have that beautiful smell and at this point you can actually add some salt if you like if you know how much you want just add a pinch of salt or a, like a like a teaspoon of salt that should work uh, I usually add them as I go because uh, I like it a little bit more salter than anybody in the house so I just add it as, a, as I eat them or I'll add a separate container for myself so uh, you guys can do that as well but it's very very simple just simple ingredients and you just adjust it when uh, when you know how much you like okay you see how it's, it's starting to boil okay the oil is ready see the color there it's nice and kind of yellowish you don't want it to burn <laughs> when it turns dark it's it's not gonna be good because it will have a different taste so you want this kind of like brownish uh, golden color so we're gonna take it off of the stove and we're going to let this sit for a bit uh, so that it can cool down a little bit and once it's a little cool and then we can add it to our peppers because if you add it right now it may cook the pepper immediately and then you won't get that nice fresh taste from the pepper um, that's usually how I do it but I think there's multiple ways to do this so uh, so anyway while we wait for this to cool let me show you some of the peppers that I use to make this okay here we are these are some of the peppers that I used and these are actually the star scream and uh, late in October and they're still producing uh, new peppers but I picked all of the red one to use these green ones are still pretty good, but they're not good for the chili oil. The chili oil is, the, is better if you use the red kind, because it has a better flavor. And so I use some over there as well. So let me show you the sugar rush. And here is my lingria. And I think I put a few of these in there. Look at these beautiful plant with uh, nice peppers. They're nice and sweet and spicy. So they're, they're great for chili oil okay and here we are we have some uh, ahi omni color i think i may use one or two of these in there and these are the other ahi omni color uh, larger pods and here is my sugar rush and i picked off all of the orange one or the peach ones those are the ones that are ready and the rest are not these are just the uh, the ones that are still trying to ripen up and these are beautiful variety and they taste nice and sweet so I make a lot of stuff out of these they're very cool okay so those are the peppers that I use so let's go ahead and finish it up okay wow you see how it's it's still kind of cooked uh, the uh, onions and the uh, the garlic after we took it off the stove so it's kind of like a little bit darker of a color but it's still 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 gonna be good uh, so take it off a little earlier so that it can still continue to cook but this this uh, color is still fine as, as long as they're not like the the darker color then that should be good so then all you have to do is pour that in here so let me use a utensil that way we can get everything into the bowl okay everything is basically ready we just have to kind of like stir them up and uh, get the oil evenly distributed into the peppers 
and that is pretty much it and when I store them I store them in this little container like this and they do last for a very long time because it's basically a uh, little salt in there and oil and I use this with uh, dim sum if you order dim sum to go uh, put some chili oil and some soy sauce and dip those in man they are amazing and another thing I usually use these for is um, uh, a hot pot so if you guys ever make hot pot guys you have to try this if you haven't make sure to go out there and try some <laughs> hot pot with chili oil is like um, ketchup and fries <laughs> Okay, I hope you enjoy the video. That is it. Um, if you have any questions or comment, also if you make your own chili oil, uh, please share what you do so that um, some of the viewers may try your ingredients. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.